As you get toward the inboard windings, there may not be enough room to get that wire through. So use your old propeller and see if you can make room for it. And if that doesn't do it, you might be able to take your needle that you home your EPP foam down with and maybe find a little hole in there with that. But be careful not to uh, wear away the the insulation. And as you get toward the end you may find that you'll have to fish the wire through the hole that you made with the needle to get that last winding in. So there we go. This is a man's idea of sewing I guess. So there we go. So that's the last one on that pole. Okay, I've got phase B all done, as you can see, and so I only have four poles left. And I've got quite a jumble of wires on the back of the motor, but that'll all get straightened out here shortly. So, we're going to start, uh, this one is going to be the toughest wind, so we're going to take our prop and we're going to go on each side of the open phase and try to bend those copper wires that are next door as tight as we can get them against their pole and that's going to give us a little more uh, chance of getting this last wind done so we're just going to work it in like that and hopefully we can get the last winds on on that phase C. So we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start with the little C that I've marked on the end here, which happens to be right here. Don't know if you can see that or not. And we'll just go the same way, always going clockwise, go to the next pole clockwise, go to the next pole clockwise, last pole clockwise and we'll have our windings all on the core. Okay, our wiring job is complete. We got them laid in there pretty neat. We got all the turns we wanted to get. It was a tight fit though. Now if you notice we left the long leads, those were going to be our motor leads. Those were at the end, that was the last, the end of the wire on each phase and the short ones are going to be all connected together to form the common point of the of the Y. So we're just going to simply take some uh, sandpaper. We're going to see if we can't get the insulation off those short wires. Okay, we'll take this out to the shop. We'll solder this up put some shrink tube over it. We'll decide on what length we want our motor leads to be. We'll cut those off. We'll strip those and put some uh, bullet connectors on the end of those and we'll put it on one of our foamies and we'll see if it works. Okay, we got the shrink tube on the Y connections and we you can see we've got them all soldered together right here with the white shrink tube and we've got the red shrink tube around our motor leads and we've already got our bullet connectors on so now all we need to do is make sure that we don't have any rubbing we look at the front of the motor and it looks like nothing's rubbing there so we're good so we're gonna put the rest of the shrink tube on we'll put a little more shrink tube right around here and we'll get some shrink tube 
around these wires and then maybe one larger shrink tube to pull them all together. So here we are, one of these amazing little brushless DC motors known for high reliability, good efficiency, good power to volume ratios, and a lot of torque per cubic inch of motor. And as you can see, we've got the circ clip on, we've got the washer on, it's been test run on the bench, we've got the bullet connectors on, we're all ready to put it on an airplane.